hometown beauty queen. And her story of getting there is inspiring, which is why Megan Miller shares it with as many young people as she can reach to make a difference. It's a performance with purpose. Megan Miller, Miss Bossier City 2013, using her crown as a platform to make a difference with teens at Central Middle. It's so kind of telling them my story and sharing my testimony with them so that they have a little bit of hope and they aren't discouraged by their dreams. Her story hit a high note with many in the audience. A little girl with big dreams growing up in a small town. But behind the smile, Miller says she was a victim of bullying a topic that's a big concern for Kayla Williams. Like, it's not fun to other people, but when it's happening to you, it's not fun at all. Miller says she didn't have many mentors growing up. Sometimes when we have that lack in our lives, we kind of steer off in the wrong directions, and it takes us a while to figure that out. Miller figured out touching kids' lives can have a lasting impact, so now she's on a mission. There's such an unmet gap of positive mentors for children today, and it's such a huge issue for children to uplift each other and be nice to each other, not tear each other down. Have Mike will sing. You can see Miller loves to entertain. She wasn't much older than these kids when she discovered her musical skills. It got her all the way to the national spotlight on American Idol. A cast on one leg and a beaten up knee, she suffered after a serious car crash could not hold her back from her audition. Three years prior, another crash nearly claimed her life. She has her own band, and she hopes to one day put another notch in her crown as Miss America. Miller has overcome a lot of obstacles, and she hopes it encourages others to dream big. If you don't believe in yourself, no one's going to believe in you either. And stay focused. Being positive and goal setting and, you know, never giving up on your dreams. A message Taylor Spates wishes she could have heard sooner. We had drama at the school and she said that um, to don't let anybody discourage you and I should have, like, not let the girls discourage me. I'm going to try to succeed in all the goals I did. The looks on their faces and the, you know, the compassion that they had when they were telling me that what I said changed their life today. That's, that's all it takes. Who do you know that's making a difference in our area? Send me the person's name, phone number, and a brief summary of their story to, to make a difference at WBRZ.com.